AI Research News Updates by MarkTechPost.com A new Google AI study introduces a mask RCNN-based model for solving instant segmentation problem. Computer Vision CV, is transforming industries and making life easier for consumers. Many downstream applications, such as self-driving cars, robots, medical imaging, and photo editing have grown dependent on computer vision tasks. One of the core computer vision tasks includes instant segmentation. It involves grouping pixels in a picture into instances of particular entities and identifying them with a class label. With mask or CNN architectures, Deep learning has made tremendous progress in solving the instant segmentation problem in recent years. These approaches, however, need the collection of a large labeled instant segmentation dataset. Unlike bounding box labels, collecting instant segmentation labels, also known as masks, is time consuming and expensive. The partially supervised instant segmentation setting requires only a small set of labeled classes with instant segmentation masks. The remaining majority of classes are labeled only with bounding boxes. This method reduces reliance on manually constructed mask labels, significantly cutting the obstacles to building an instant segmentation model. However, this partially supervised approach requires a stronger model generalization to handle novel classes not observed during training. Furthermore, naive approaches like training a class agnostic mask or CNN while ignoring mask losses for all cases without mask labels have failed miserably. A recent Google study looks into the major causes of mask or CNN's poor performance on novel classes. It proposes two simple improvements, one for the training process and one for the mask head design, that work together to reduce the gap to fully supervised performance. Their proposed mask or CNN-based model outperforms the existing state-of-the-art by 4.7% mask map. Their method can be used to any crop-then-segment model, such as a mask or CNN or mask or CNN-like architecture that computes a feature representation of the full picture before passing poor instance crops to a second-stage mask prediction network. Consequences of Cropping Methodology in Partially Supervised Settings the cropping mask or CNN is trained in two steps. First, it is trained by cropping a feature map and the ground truth mask to a bounding box corresponding to each instance. These cropped features are then fed into a mask head network, which creates a final mask prediction and compares it to the ground truth crop in the mask loss function. Cropping can be done in two ways, one, cropping directly to an instance's ground truth bounding box, or two, cropping to bounding boxes predicted by the model, called proposals. Because ground truth boxes are not expected to be present at test time, cropping is always done using proposals. Both sorts of crops are passed to the mask head in most mask or CNN implementations. However, because performance in the fully supervised configuration is unaffected by this choice, it is usually seen as a minor technical issue. In contrast, the researchers suggest that cropping methodology plays a significant role in partially supervised settings. While cropping solely to ground truth boxes during training has no effect in a fully supervised situation, it significantly improves performance on unseen classes in a partially supervised setting. Surprisingly, when cropping to ground truth is enabled during training, the mask head of mask or CNN plays a disproportionate role in the model's capacity to generalize to unknown classes. It's worth noting that these distinctions between mask head designs aren't as noticeable in the fully supervised setting. This may also explain why prior instance segmentation work has almost exclusively used shallow, i.e., low number of layers, mask heads as the increased complexity has provided no benefit. The researchers examine the mask map of three distinct mask head topologies on scene versus unseen classes. All three models perform equally well on the set of scene classes, but the deep hourglass mask heads stand out when used on unseen classes. The hourglass mask heads were found to be the best among all architectures, and the team employed hourglass mask heads with 50 or more layers to achieve the greatest results. 
The researchers trained a mask or CNN model with cropping to ground truth enabled and a deep hourglass 52 mask head with a spy net backbone, 1280x1280, on high resolution images. This model is known as Deep Mark, Deep Mask Heads Above our CNN, and it outperforms previous state of the art models by greater than 4.5% mask map without offline training or handcrafted priors. They also see significant results using a center net based, as opposed to mask or CNN based, model, named Deep Mac, that outperforms the other state of the art, demonstrating the universal nature of this approach. The code bases for two versions of the concept, DeepMac and DeepMark, are now made open source.